Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we have a beginner's tutorial to Microsoft OneDrive. We're gonna show you how to integrate this with your various Office suite applications. But OneDrive is also a fully functional cloud storage, and you can use this in combination with many different files to actually go ahead and store that in the cloud. Before we jump into the tutorial, if you guys are interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, remote desktop licenses, Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Server, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right guys, so for the purpose of demonstration here, I have actually removed OneDrive. I went ahead and uninstalled it, but I am still running Microsoft Office. So in the Office suite, I have my Outlooks, PowerPoint, Excel, and Word, but no OneDrive yet. So we're gonna start from scratch. I wanna open up my web browser here. Now we'll have a link pasted down below, but we're gonna go to the official OneDrive download webpage. This is microsoft.com, and we're gonna get an option here for download OneDrive, and we'll click download. Okay, that only took just a few seconds, so I'll go ahead and double click to open the EXE. We'll select yes on the pop-up, and it should be a very quick installation, so I'll go ahead and search OneDrive. Now we can see it's installed, and I'll go ahead and open that up. Now the first step is gonna be to go ahead and sign into your Microsoft account. If you have the Office Suite installed, I would recommend probably using that same email address. Everything will integrate nicely, but you can also use a different account. So I'll go ahead and press sign in. Now this is a feature of OneDrive where we can essentially have a local folder for OneDrive on our computer. By adding files to this folder, we will still be able to access them locally, but they will also be synced to the OneDrive cloud. We can change the location setting if we want to. I'm fine with mine in the C drive here, so I'll press OK. If you've already had OneDrive previously installed, you can select use this folder or you can choose a new folder. So I will elect to use this folder. This next setting is going to be dependent on whether or not you have enough space on your plan. I only have a small plan. I believe it's about five gigabytes and I don't need this to automatically back up and sync any of my files. So I'll press next. Here we have an ad for Microsoft 365. I'm just going to click not now and we'll go ahead and hit next. Here we'll hit next again and we'll hit next. We have an option to get the mobile app, so you can do this on your mobile device if you'd like to. For now, I'm gonna press later. All right, so here's that local folder that we were talking about. Again, this is now available from the C drive. It has my name dash personal. So here is where I can access those synced files, and I might set this as the save location while I'm working in Word, for example. So we'll run through a couple examples at the end of the video, but let's go ahead and access the web version of OneDrive so we can show you guys the various plans. Back on my web browser, let's go ahead and sign into our Microsoft account. All right, so I just typed in the code. I'm gonna go ahead and press sign in. On this pop-up, I'll select yes. Now this is actually a good point to demonstrate as we are actually out of files here. I'm gonna show you guys how I can remove some of the items to make sure that I'm not full of my storage. So it's prompting me to get more storage. I'm gonna select, I'll do it later. You'll notice on the left side here, we have a handful of navigation items. I'm gonna select my files. And as we can see, the my desktop folder, as well as this November folder are both taking up quite a bit of space. I'll double click into desktop. And again, this is exclusively what's being stored on OneDrive. I've checked these files and none of it is critical data. So I'm gonna go ahead and press delete. We'll go ahead and select delete again. And I'm also gonna go back to my files and check out this November folder and see what's in here. I don't need these files either. So I'll go ahead and delete those. Now, the last step here is to go to the recycle bin and we're gonna select everything here. So this little button will select everything and we'll hit empty recycle bin. Please know that this will permanently delete your files. So if you have anything critical, be sure to back that up first and I'll hit yes. As we can see, we have a lot more storage available now. We can also check our storage via the settings. So if I hit the settings in the top right here and click options, here we have a few interactive dashboards we can use to manage our OneDrive. I can view Outlook attachments, OneDrive, and I can also empty the recycle bin from here. And we could also upgrade our plan if we wanted to. I can always click back to the OneDrive button here, which is gonna bring us back to sort of the home page. The home page is gonna display our recent files. And again, I would prefer to navigate from my files here. All right, so that is basically a rundown of how to use OneDrive on the web. And again, we're able to access these same documents from the computer. So from our local you know, File Explorer, we're able to add and remove files from here, both of which will update accordingly in the OneDrive cloud. All right, so guys, so here's a practical way that I might want to go ahead and use OneDrive to store my Office application files. I'm gonna open up this essay that I wrote yesterday, and let's say I wanna work on this on my phone or maybe several different Windows computers or maybe my PC and my Mac. Well, the best way to do that is actually to go ahead and turn on this auto save feature in the top left. So I'm going to go ahead and toggle this on. So we got an error message and it's basically telling us that this needs to be saved in the cloud first. So we're going to manually save this to our OneDrive. So I'll click file, save as, 
and we'll click on OneDrive. Let's just go into the Documents folder and press Save. Once here, I'll press OK on the pop-up, and the Auto Save feature will automatically toggle on. Now I can make edits to this from any computer, so long as I'm signed into this Microsoft account, and it will automatically update the changes. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about OneDrive or how to use it with your various Office application files or other files, drop those in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas you may have. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.